In previous courses, we covered building blocks and fundamental concepts like frames and packets, analog and digital, local cabling systems, and more. Our discussion now shifts to putting all of these pieces together, networking. There are so many different functions that need to be performed to be able to interwork different systems. A structure is required to be able to categorize and separate functions so that it's possible to discuss separate issues separately and not get things all mixed up. The method most commonly used to enable discussion of separate issues separately is the ISO OSI 7 layer reference model. We'll start our discussion with some definitions, then an overview of the OSI model, introducing the idea of layers, layered architectures, and protocol stacks. Then we'll go through the layers individually and give examples of protocols like IP, TCP, LANs, and DSL to see where they fit into the stack. We'll finish off understanding how a protocol stack actually works in operation and conclude the course with a review of different active standards organizations. The objective of this course is to understand the concept of an open system and its advantages, what a protocol is and what a standard is, the OSI model and its purpose, what a layer is, the seven layers of the OSI model, the name of each layer, the functions each layer is responsible for, examples of actual protocols for each layer, what a protocol stack is and how it operates, and examples of standards organizations that publish protocols. This course is comprised of the following lessons. Open systems, where we'll discuss open versus proprietary methods of communications. Protocols and standards, where we'll understand what a protocol is, monolithic versus structured protocols, and how a standard relates to a protocol. Then the ISO OSI 7 layer reference model, where we'll introduce the model and how it operates and give an overview of each of the layers in the model. Then we'll go over that again more slowly, one layer at a time. The next lesson is the physical layer, moving bits over fiber, twisted pair, cable, and wireless. Next is layer 2, the data link layer, where we'll discuss frames, LANs, and MAC addresses. The next lesson is the network layer, IP, MPLS, packets, and routers. Then the transport layer, reliability, ports, and sockets. The session layer, SIP, POP, and HTTP. Followed by the presentation layer, where we'll discuss ASCII, MIME, compression, encryption, and codecs. And finally, layer 7, the application layer, where we'll use SMTP, HTML, and English as examples. After the overview of the layers and a closer examination of each layer one at a time, the next lesson in this course is protocol stacks, the FedEx analogy, where we'll use an analogy of company-to-company -company communications using FedEx to better understand how the layers interoperate with each other and how a protocol stack works. After that is a lesson on how the protocol stacks works from a bits point of view and how protocol headers end up being nested like babushka dolls. The last lesson in this course is standards organizations, a brief overview of organizations that publish what they hope will become standard protocols for communications. The course is composed of a number of lessons which are loaded onto your computer one at a time by clicking the corresponding link on the menu of available lessons in the MyTerracom Learning Management System dashboard. Each lesson begins with an overview and discussion of the lesson objectives. Then the lesson is presented in several parts, followed by several quiz questions to help ensure you understood key points. The left arrow and right arrow buttons at the bottom sides of the screen may be used to navigate back and forth between parts, and the timeline controls along the bottom of the screen may be used for navigation and to pause and to resume the presentation. You can go back through the lesson as many times as you like until you click the Finish Lesson button to move to the next lesson. 
You can close your browser, then log back in the next day or next month, and you'll restart the same lesson until you click the Finish Lesson button to move to the next one. Note that the Finish Lesson button doesn't appear in this free sample.